There are a lot of advantages to having a 4 over 4 nuke box, um, a double 4 over 4 nuke box uh, for building, um, well, brood factories like Michael Palmer said. Uh, I use these 4 over 4 in my experimental uh, nucleus colonies here about six weeks ago. I uh, split a three pound package across the two hives and um, in an effort to see if um, a pound and a half package will uh, become a powerful hive uh, very, very quickly with the bees multitasking. And, and, and uh, one of the um, downsides to the four over four hive here is that if one side builds up faster than the other, you need to give one side room and the other side doesn't need any room, well, what are you going to do? Um, that's, I've run into that a few times using these double four over four uh, boxes. Um, I'm not sure how Michael Palmer um, solves that issue. You know, he probably evens out his colonies. He's probably got a lot more of them than I got. I've, I mean, I've only got the two boxes running right now. I mean, I have more, but they're not being used right now. So I have four total. Um, but right now, this side here has literally seven frames of bees in brood, uh, seven frames of brood uh, in, in it. Uh, there's an eighth frame that's uh, not quite there yet. Uh, this side over here only has four uh, frames of bees in brood. Um, the queen has just gone to town on this side. Um, I was in it earlier this morning and there are uh, eggs and larvae in every single hole in the entire upper four. Uh, but it's not ready for, it's not ready for any room yet. Um, but this side definitely is. And I'm gonna use this as a, as a time rather than uh, sitting there wondering what's gonna happen with this side uh, I'm going to give them the room that they need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a full-size 10-frame box, literally right here, and then this this side right here, I'm going to uh, I'm going to stick them just in a five-frame box, and um, that way I'll have two separate colonies, and I can I can add whatever I need on this colony here. And uh, the other side, if I need to add another five frames to it, I will. Um, but, uh, you know, until they get packed out, you know, they don't need it right now. So that's what I'm going to do in this video is just transfer bees from this to a, uh, well, it's a 10 frame box, but it has a, uh, it has a, a frame feeder in it. So it's really only eight frames. So I'm taking eight frames and moving it in an eight frame box. Wow, look at that. This is actually just a frame, and it's all full of bees. I mean, it was just just a frame. The bees are really hot, so they're pouring on the outside. The box is a little too small for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in there, and then I'm going to put a uh, queen excluder down, and I'm going to give them some room to uh, store honey. So they are ready uh, to store honey. That's how prolific that one and a half pound package became in this side. I haven't been in those colonies yet, but I'm going to guess these are going to be the same. I only have so much space here, uh, so I'm going to have to wait and uh, transfer these at a later time and then take them over to the, uh, to the farm apiary uh, as I can. So, but right now, this is what we're going to do. This hive is absolutely full of bees right here. Cat brood. And actually, I think I'm going to get in a little closer here. I'm going to kind of scan for the queen here as I look, too, because I haven't seen her in a while.
Okay. This is all full of larvae. Lots of shadows here. I can't really see very well. This queen, if I wanted to. Not bad having seven frames of brood on a pound and a half package, huh? That's pretty good, actually. Just my opinion. This is the one frame that they didn't draw out yet. This is this year's drawn cap, drawn wax, so. So that's that. I still have not seen the queen. And that one's all pollen. Wow, look at that pollen frame. Holy smoke. Okay, this side. Okay.
Not a lot of bees in here, but they're, man, she has every frame laid up. That every cell that's open is, is completely laid up here, um, up on top. So, Day. Okay. So that's that. That doesn't take them long to figure out where home is, honestly. I'm putting on a super with uh, checkerboarded frames. So that ought to work well. Good. Okay. That, as they say, is that. Well, to say these bees are pissed off is kind of an understatement, but I wanted to get this done. Uh, note to uh, everybody out there, uh, it's right around 5 o'clock p.m. or close thereabouts, uh, you really want to stop your uh, your beekeeping and uh, because uh, that's when all the foragers come back and they are the most most defensive of uh, of all the bees nurse bees are are, are very very gentle um, I got done with these hives and I decided now nah, you know what the hell I'll do the other two and uh, I opened the one colony up and uh, kind of like immediately I got jumped by like 20 bees and I got stung probably, I, I don't know, eight or nine times in the back and the neck. Uh, nothing I couldn't handle, but there was a little bit of cussing there. But yeah, the bees are a little disturbed right now. So I've changed their hive configuration, so there's a little stress, a little confusion, and um, a little irritation, and they'll calm down by the end of tonight. Um, those other two hives were packed out completely with honey and brood. Um, I couldn't believe how much uh, nectar they had stored in there. Um, They're building comb like crazy and I had to get them in a, a 10 frame box and I had to put a super on them immediately. Uh, that's how prolific. So three out of the four really, really, really went to town. Uh, the fourth one, like I said, uh, it, it's really odd. It's like they slowed down and then the queen just bam, just started laying again because three of the frames, every single cell is full of uh, uncapped larvae and, uh, and, and eggs. 
Uh, so it's just a matter of time for that colony to, uh, to catch up with the rest of them. That colony probably won't produce any honey this year, but the other three, without a doubt, will produce honey this year. Um, matter of fact, I, I actually almost thought about, uh, there was that much brood. I almost thought about putting second uh, supers on these, uh, those three colonies. Uh, I still might. Um, I'll wait till, till next week and see if they need another super or not. Uh, see how they're doing. But uh, now they can move nectar up into those honey supers and um, relieve some stress of the, of the uh, some crowding in the um, brood nest. But um, yeah, real happy with the 1.5 pound experiment. Uh, we've entered another phase, obviously, and um, I'd say I'd say uh, experiment confirmed. Uh, until next time, happy beekeeping, uh, and remember, all beekeeping is local. Take care. Woo! Ha, ha, ha.